Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be talking about lead changes between the two national series in sprint car racing so far in 2024, that being Highland Racing and the World of Outlaws. So on this board, Highland Racing is going to be written in green ink and for the World of Outlaws, they'll be written in red. And real quick, before I get into it, I wanted to mention, uh, if you guys haven't hit the subscribe button yet here on the channel, we are very close to 1500 subscribers. I think we're at like 1490 or 88 or something like that. So very close. I would really appreciate it if you did hit that subscribe button. Uh, thank you very much for that. Also, uh, before we get into it, right here in these columns, this is the drivers that have actually led a lap so far with each of the series and how many laps they have led. And you can actually zoom in. If you're on YouTube, you can zoom in on your uh, screen there and you can read those if you can't read them uh, from that far away. So let's get into it. So for the lead, oh, and real quick, bef before I get into it, I wanted to mention this. I wanted to make this video because I was talking to some people at Lakeside over the weekend, uh, race fans. I, I was talking to some people that work for High Limit, talking to drivers as well. And I just was mentioning that it seems like every race so far this year with High Limit has had a really good battle for the top spot, for the win. Uh, you know, there's been a few here and there that, you know, the guy started the pole and, and he led every single lap, but it's been pretty rare. It hasn't happened in quite a while for High Limit. And so I figured I'd look at it and then compare and contrast that to the Outlaws. So let's jump into it. So uh, with the Outlaws, they have had 14 different drivers lead a lap in the first 18 races of the season. But once again, those drivers are right here on this side of the board. And for High Limit, they have had 10 different drivers lead a lap in the first 12 races. So um, pretty good numbers there. I mean, a difference of four between the 18 races for the Outlaws and a difference of two between the 12 races uh, with, with High Limit Racing. The next line down, uh, for the Outlaws, they have had 12 races so far that have had at least two different leaders, meaning in six races, they have had one guy lead every single lap from the front row. And with High Limit, there have been 10 races that have had at least two different leaders, meaning only two races so far this year where there has been a guy that has led every single lap with High Limit Racing, one of those being Kyle Larson at East Bay. The other one was Tyler Courtney at Golden Isle Speedway. And if you remember back to East Bay, that was actually a really exciting race between uh, Kyle Larson, Tanner Thorson, Cole Macedo. It wasn't, I mean, if you think back to it, you don't think that Larson led all those laps, but he indeed did. Uh, it was still a really good race. But, uh, you know, those are pretty good numbers for High Limit, I would say, right? I mean, 12 races, 10 races, 12 races total, 10 of them, having at least two different leaders for the Outlaws. They have had six races this year where the guys rolled off from the pole and led every single lap. 12 of them have had two different leaders or more. So on the bottom line here, uh, the overall numbers for the Outlaws and High Limit, the Outlaws have had 23 lead changes in 18 races for 32 different drivers. Um, and those different drivers, I mean, David Gravel could have led a lap at Jacksonville. He could have led a lap at, at Eldora. It's not 32 different drivers all across the country. But in those 18 races, there have been 32 different drivers that have at least led one lap in those races. And for high limit, they have had 27 lead changes in 12 races and 26 different leaders. So, in I mean, that's pretty crazy to think that high limit has had six less races and they've had more lead changes in those races. I don't know what that chalks up to. I'm not sure what this all exactly means. That is for you guys to decide. Is it the format with high limit? Uh, is it, you know, I don't really know what it could be, to be honest with you. Do the outlaws go to more big racetracks to where there's kind of less passing? I'm not really sure. But I, when I broke that down, I was kind of surprised to see that the outlaws had less lead changes with six more races on their schedule so far in 2024. And I figured that would be something interesting to put on the board. Now, for the Outlaws, their best race, quote unquote, was Eldora, the last race they had. They had four different lead changes in that race between two different drivers, that being David Gravel and Donnie Schatz. Now, for the best race with High Limit, they have actually had two races with five different lead changes, and both of them surprisingly coming at four tenths mile racetracks. Just this last weekend, Lakeside Speedway in Kansas City and at the Texas Motor Speedway dirt track down there in Fort Worth, both of those races saw five different lead changes with three different drivers. So kind of interesting to look at here. If you break it all down between the two national series, like I said earlier, I don't really know what this exactly means, uh, but I just thought it would be interesting to put on the board and maybe show you guys how it looks here. Also wanted to point this out as well. Uh, between these two columns on either side of the board, there are four drivers on either side that have led laps with both series so far this year. Brad Sweet, Tyler Courtney, Kyle Larson, and Anthony Macri. Those four drivers, 
are the only ones that have led a lap with both High Limit and the Outlaws in 2024. Another interesting thing is you look on this side, Rico Abreu and Brent Marks are both on this side of the board. Obviously, they are full-time with High Limit Racing. They have both not led a lap, though, with that series so far, and they both have laps led and wins with the Outlaws so far this season. So, uh, yeah, pretty interesting stuff here when you break it all down. Hopefully, you guys thought it was as interesting as I did, and uh, hopefully, you will hit that subscribe button, hit that like button. Comment down below. What do you think of the racing so far between the two series? What do you think about these numbers we put up on the board here? I want to hear your thoughts down below in that comment section. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll be back later on today for a news of the day video here on the channel. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you later on.